On the Super View, let's talk about the Bone Talker Bone Conduction Headphones. I'm actually a really big fan of Bone Conduction Headphones. In fact, I've got, I don't know, maybe like 30 plus, no, I've probably got almost 50 pairs of headphones. That sounds ridiculous when I say that out loud, but I do. I have a lot of headphones and the pair that I probably use the most is my Trex Aftershocks Air. For non-music audio listening, I just find bone conduction to be really awesome. Unfortunately, the Aftershocks Air, as good as they are, they're not cheap. They're around 150 bucks and here we've got a competitor from Bone Talker that only costs 100 bucks, which is still not cheap. I'm still going to have some pretty high expectations for them. but. Let's go ahead and open up the box. We'll find out what we get inside and then I'll spend some time comparing these things directly to Trex Aftershocks and see, is that $50, is that $50 saved worth it? Or should you still just stick with the Trex? Decent spin, not the best, but I can't, I don't think I ever spun an Aftershocks box, so I can't compare the spin to that. But here on the outside, we do have a picture of a woman wearing these things while boxing. And that actually kind of highlights one of the things that I like about using bone conduction headphones is that you can listen to these while doing exercise type stuff where you don't want to block out the outside world. I do a lot of hiking. There's people around. I don't want people sneaking up behind me. Behind me. I don't want a mountain lion sneaking up behind me. And having bone conduction headphones makes that possible. Let's see what else we can find out. Over here, we've got four hours of battery life, which is not quite as strong as what's claimed from the Trex. I think the Trex have a claimed six hours of battery life, but they are lightweight, 35 grams, which is pretty lightweight. We'll find out how light they are compared to the $150 Trex Air. Um, over here on the side, bone conduction, we knew that. We didn't know this, is that these things are waterproof to IP56 level, which, what does IP56 mean? I just looked it up and IP56 means uh, water from heavy seas or water projected from jets shall not enter the machine in any harmful quantity. So if you're around water projecting jets, these things should be fine. And if that means you're exercising in these things and sweating in them, should be no problem whatsoever. Um, down here, we've got a little bit of, we actually got a user manual on the outside. That's interesting. Uh, specification, frequency range, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. I'm kind of doubtful of that. Look, bone conduction, for as much as I love bone conduction, it's very convenient. It does not necessarily sound the best. So this frequency range, I don't know if I buy that totally, but really we're not gonna find out much about this until we open it up and find out what's inside this box. All right, so we got the Bone Talkers completely unboxed and this is pretty minimal package. Uh, you get a set of instructions, which is important. I hope I don't have to use them. You get a micro USB cable, which is important. I will probably need to use this. Um, interestingly, they come with a set of earplugs, which is actually true of the Trex as well. One thing that's kind of interesting and kind of surprising is that Bone conduction headphones like this will actually get louder if you plug your ears with earplugs. It's totally true. It's one of the ways that you can really demonstrate that bone conduction is working and it's not just the little speakers playing outside your ears, is you you start listening to music on these things and, and you're like, whoa, I can, I can hear my surroundings, but is it just speakers playing? And then you plug up your ears with your fingers and they'll actually get louder. It's totally true, at least with the Trex. I'll find out if that holds true here with the Bone Talkers. But then we get to the set, which is, I think, a pretty, frankly, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking set. It feels a little bit bigger than the Trex, um, but weight wise, it feels solid. Uh, it's got a nice soft finish to the plastic, a little bit rubbery. It's like a, a rubberized finish for sure. And then you've got access to buttons here on the top. Uh, it looks like a power button, a volume up and volume down button. And then on the right side, you've got a button on the outside of the speaker, which I'm gonna guess is your play pause, but I don't know, we'll find out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and listen to them and see if these things end up being as convenient for me as Trex Air, or is it is it really worth just spending the 50 bucks extra and getting the Aftershocks? All 
All right, I've been living with the Bone Talkers Bone Conduction earphones for the last about a week, comparing these things directly to the Trex Aftershocks. And just as a reminder, I think I already said it, but I love my Trex Aftershocks and I love Bone Conduction. I think Bone Conduction is really good in a lot of scenarios where normal Bluetooth headphones are just kind of antisocial or maybe just not that good. So some examples of where Bone Conduction I think works really well. Let's say you are outside exercising and you don't want creepos running up behind you. Well, bone conduction, not gonna stop the creepos from running up behind you, but at least you'll be able to hear them before they get to you. Uh, another scenario you might want bone conduction is let's say you're sitting around the office and you wanna listen to some music in the background. You don't want your music playing out loud because people around you don't need to hear it, but you also don't want to shut out your, your coworkers. You still wanna be able to hear them if they happen to talk to you. And again, I think bone conduction is pretty good for that. The scenarios that I find myself using these things most is just kind of doing chores around the house, whether I'm cooking or doing dishes. I listen to a lot of podcasts and for me, bone conduction is like the perfect solution for that. So that's a number of different scenarios where I think bone conduction is pretty good. And the bone talkers, they do it all. They do it pretty well too. Now the bone talkers have got quite a bit in common with the Trex Aftershock, including the general build and look and aesthetic of these things is definitely cribbed from Trex, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think the Trex are a great built, greatly built headphone, a great build, whatever you wanna say. I think the Trex Aftershocks are great. And if you're gonna copy something, those are a decent thing to copy. So just the general style of these things, the aesthetic, the quasi titanium, might even actually be titanium headband, the rubberized plastic all around it, generally very, very similar to the Trex Aftershocks. I don't think the build here is quite as nice as the Trex Aftershocks. You can see some things feel a little bit more plasticky, um, but probably the bigger issue with the build as far as it being different is these things don't fit around my head quite as well. I think these things are made for someone with a smaller head than what I've got. And the way that that manifests is that the, the main pressure point on my head is right back here where these little battery units are. And it's not up here with the transducers, which is where you would expect the pressure on a bone conduction headphone to be. And I was kind of worried that there were gonna be a couple of downsides to that. One, I was kind of worried that there would be comfort issues. I didn't really have any comfort issues. I was worried about it, but they didn't manifest. I was also worried that these things might not, they might not conduct enough sound through my bones to compete with outside sounds, but I actually didn't have that issue. The scenario where I'd most test the quality of bone conduction is when I'm walking outside near traffic not in the traffic, I'm just walking by the traffic, okay, mom? But I didn't have any problem with these things getting loud enough and transmitting enough sound into my bones to be able to compete with the sound of traffic around me, and that's good. I do think that my head is probably about the upper limit of where these things will work out very fairly well. If you have a larger head than mine, the Trex Aftershocks I think are gonna fit you better, especially the Trex Air, those things, the band, the way the band fits around my head, it's much more comfortable and it definitely feels like there's more room for, for larger heads than with these. That said, these things, they did okay for me. All right, let's see. Other areas where these are very similar to Trex is in the general button configuration, including one feature that I think is underrated is that they have got a button on the outside of one of the ear cups. And the reason I like that is, let's say I am doing the dishes and my hands are busy, my hands are wet, but someone starts talking to me, I need to pause the music. Well. I don't actually have to reach up and press that button. I can just do one of these little things right there and it totally works. And that's actually a feature that I'm gonna expect in basically every bone conduction headphone I ever listen to. And it's nice that the bone talkers have it. The overall sound quality, not quite as nice as the Trex. I would say that the low end on these things definitely is worse, but look, the sound quality on the Trex, even those, it's, it's not great. It's not, it's not hi-fi music sound, and frankly, I don't use them for music listening to. I, I, I basically just use my tracks, my bone conduction headphones, for listening to podcasts. And for that purpose, these things are perfectly, perfectly satisfactory. If I were to rate the Bone Talkers out of five stars, I'd give these things a really solid three stars out of five. I think as far as bone conduction goes, these things are doing a pretty good job. Not quite as nice as Trex, in my opinion, but... They're also a little bit cheaper than Trex, or at least cheaper than the Trex Airs. I think that the Trex Titanium at $99, at around the same prices as, as these, I would probably stick with the Trex Airs, but if these things, or the Trex Titanium, but if these things got to like around 60 bucks, I think they'd be a really nice, compelling purchase. 
uh, the, the sound quality is not quite there, the fit's not quite there, and then the build quality, I don't quite trust it as much as I trust the Trex. The Trex, those things feel like they're built like tanks. These things are just a little bit more plasticky and they, they feel a little bit more fragile. If you're interested in checking out the Bone Talkers, of course, I've got links in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video if you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you on the next Super Reveal.